Bicycles are everywhere in Boston, and the number is growing. Between 2007 and 2009, the city of Boston recorded a 43% increase in bike ridership. But until a few years ago, most of the city's streets lacked bike lanes and other accommodations for cyclists. This is changing as the city strives to make Boston a more bike-friendly city and communities are deciding how to integrate bicycles into their transportation plans. In September 2007, Mayor Thomas Menino created the Boston Bikes Program to promote the city as a hub of bicycling and plan bike routes. In 2009, the city added 10 miles of bike lanes and other accommodations. This year, the city plans on putting in about 20 miles of bikeways. This summer, officials are discussing how to handle bikes on Charles Street and Beacon Hill. At a June 2nd meeting organized by the Beacon Hill Civic Association, community leaders, business owners, and residents discuss possibilities for bike lanes on Charles Street for the first time. The group is exploring different options for bike lanes on Charles Street as well as alternative routes. So what we are behind is encouraging uh, the use of bicycles uh, around and within Beacon Hill and we want to encourage the safe use of bicycles so we also want to make sure that it's safe for bikes, for pedestrians, for cars, for everyone. Um, what we haven't proposed is how exactly to get that done. And so one of the ideas is, you know, can you have a bike lane on Charles Street? Uh, there are people who are prone against it. Uh, and we've also th thought about, well, maybe can you use Mugar Way, which is the, the there's like a sidewalk right mm -hmm. next to Storrow Drive. And then the question is, you know, do you do, if you do Charles Street, do you do it in both directions? Because right now, people so that was our first time that we actually talked about it. And what we did is we showed different pictures of what's possible. Mm -hmm. So we showed a picture of like a one-way street or maybe two-way streets. We showed it in the middle, we showed it on the side, and then we also showed it on Mugar Way. Charles is one way. Bicyclists are known to ride against traffic from Beacon Street to Cambridge Street. This April, a cyclist was seriously injured as they tried to go from Beacon Street onto Charles the wrong way. Some residents and business owners are critical of putting bike lanes on Charles Street. And what they're looking to do is, they had one proposal they presented out to us and it was to actually take a lane of traffic away and push the parking out and have a bike lane, a dedicated bike lane, which would mean there'd only be two lanes for traffic on Charles Street. Oh. Your reaction is the same as my reaction. Bad idea. Too Bad many people idea. double park to go yeah. down to um, one lane of traffic. I definitely agree there needs to be a biking, a bike route solution. I think it would be better done on River Street or Mugar Way. It would be detrimental to the entire neighborhood because the residents wouldn't like it either. It would turn a nice commuter route into a parking lot. People would stop going down Charles Street if they mm -hmm. had to deal with all their traffic. Yeah, which in turn would affect the businesses, which in turn would affect what the neighborhood likes about having the businesses here. So oh, it would be nice if you made the um, bicycles just go one way, the same way traffic was going, instead of counter to traffic. That would be helpful. <laughs> Matthew Hogan, who works at a Charles Street antique shop, rides his bike to work every day and is in favor of the proposed lanes. Well, the thing is that years ago, Charles Street went in the other direction. And so there's no, which was better, frankly, but they did it because of the traffic, the flow of traffic. But, um, so there's no easy way to get here, you know, on a bike without going the wrong way. I mean, you can go around by the river, but often there's a lot of water and this and that. So, so it is pretty dangerous. It's dangerous to go the opposite way. While there is dialogue on the proposed bike lanes, it is unclear what the outcome will be. I think everybody felt that there needs to be a solution. I don't think that there was a consensus as to what that solution should be. This was more of a, this is what we're thinking. We've done a lot of research on Charles Street, but we don't yet know what the best option is.